know it's tough to talk after a loss like that, but just kind of where's your head at, and how, how do you guys feel after that game? Um, we just gonna we just gonna use this as a open eye opener, and we just gonna learn from what we did, all the mistakes we made, look at film, go over everything we um, made mistakes with, uh, keep grinding, keep playing as one one tendency, and uh, we're going to get ready for the next team that's coming. How do you balance the positive and negative, though? I mean, you, you, you play number six team in the country to an overtime game, almost come out of here with a win. How, how do you kind of mesh that? Um, Really, we just came out here and pl just to play. We knew um, what we can do. Nobody gave us a chance, but... Um, we really wanted to win. It, we came up short, but um, we're just going to take it as learning experience. Why was the second half so different from the first half? I know you're on defense, but did you able to move the ball, put points on the board, stop them a little bit? Just talk about the difference in that second half, if you can. See, well, we really we really knew that everything that we were doing was ba was coming from us. All the mistakes we was making was us, and basically just technique and everything. So um, we're going to come out there. We, well, we came out there with a passion, and we was trying to get the win. The last drive and regulation that they had, a little tough to be out there and see them move the ball like that. But what were you guys, what was your mindset like and what were you doing out there to kind of maybe keep them from scoring? Well, my mindset was um, don't let them don't let them score. Don't let them make a play. Don't let them get a first down. Let's go ahead and get out the field so this offense can help us. How hard was it to reset after those two penalties down there on the final drive to kind of set them up on the two? I mean, y'all still held them to fourth down. Was it? Is it hard to mentally reset after those penalties? I mean, yeah, I mean, everybody has a hard time, but um, the penalties are always like a game changer, but we had to snap and clear, like Coach is always telling us, snap and clear and play the next down. Just what was said in the locker room going forward, because it does seem like there are so many positives that came from this close loss. Um, We all knew that we needed to keep our heads up because um, it, we did a lot of positive things, and we feel like that we could have won and we could have had that victory, and we're just going to keep grinding and stay together as a team. Justin, did you, I'm sorry, go ahead. A lot of you guys have been playing so many snaps, especially on defense. Is this bye week coming at a, a good time for you guys? Oh, yeah, I mean, we, we always want, we're always ready to play, but um, the bye week going to be something that help us look, look um, more into our next opponent, and we're going to be ready. Justin, that stadium was, was diff had a different feel to it in the second half, especially late in the game. Did you notice that out there, the fans and the vibe, I guess, in the stadium? Yeah, I, I noticed the energy that they um, kind of brought down. That's just something that we feel like Tennessee should always have. And we, and whenever the crowd's happy, that we know we're doing good. So what was the defense's kind of confidence level going into that last drive? Excuse me? What was the defense, what was the confidence level there going into that last drive? Oh. Uh, I mean, our confidence level was sky high. Um, what we really wanted to do was just basically get the stop because um, we needed to help the offense and we needed to get a turnover also. How much does it hurt? I mean, you guys have kind of been in that situation before where maybe you don't want to stop, you don't want to play away from one off of it. You know, a big win. Does it just kind of you know, shake your head at it? Or just... it? It always hurts the most when it's a it's a very close game, when you know you could have won. but. Um, that's just something we use as an eye opener, like I said earlier. But um, we just gonna keep grinding, and keep pushing forward, and just never clear. I know you guys, you know, Mark West caught a touchdown. You know, Reeves and Jalen and, and Swafford had the problem on the point. Just you know, freshman contributing, you're starting opposite of one. Just you know, how are these? What do you think this freshman class has been to this team, all this program? And what are your, kind of your thoughts on them? I feel like we need everybody. Everybody is a huge part of the team. They help us in everything, special teams, offense, defense, it don't matter. And the freshmen have been making big plays. They've been helping us throughout the uh, year, and we're going to need them. I'm sorry you probably answered this before, but how much does this one hurt? I mean, because it looked like you guys had it. I mean, 